Hello, Hydrokulturfreunde. I wanted to provide an update of my hydroponic man cave. My vertical tower system is plugging along. I'm happy with the weekly production, about 22 heads of lettuce a week, and then my kales and herbs and collards and chards here for uh, weekly cooking. Um, the only thing that I'm not quite happy about is the power draw. It's about a kilowatt an hour. So right now it's the end of January and the sun is shining. So the solar panels are making about six and a half kilowatt hours and that's not a problem to run the system now, but uh, without a, an expensive battery backup system, I'm kind of at the mercy of the sun. Uh, so I'm going, I built this rack uh, shelving system here. I'm going to put be putting in a NFT system for some spinach and some extra lettuce to keep up with uh, customer demand and uh, I'll be experimenting with some new LED grow lights uh, that use about 40% less power than the lighting current lighting system that I'm running here. But the reason for today's video is the uh, Gurken Anbau, the cucumber system that I'm putting together. I have my little darlings here, Piccolino, uh, that are going to be going in today so I just wanted to show the system, describe how I put it together uh, before I close it up. I'm not going to be uh, posting a how-to video so I'm just going to explain it. Um, I made, I used scraps, I didn't purchase any lumber for, in the interest of sustainability, I used scraps and ripped them that I had out of the garage. So I built a little stand that's reinforced in the center with a 2x6, um, about 11 inches off the ground, a little bit uh, over 10, uh, so that I had 11 inch clearance for a 3.5 gallon bucket. I guess I could have gone a little bit lower, uh, but I uh, decided to put this uh, spigot on here, this drain spigot, so that I can easily drain and uh, flush out the system. So that should be easier than uh, being on my hands and knees and scooping out the water, uh, especially in a system that's going to uh, be contained in this above this reservoir. Uh, so I won't have uh, the accessibility uh, as I do here with a vertical tower system uh, to get in there and to do flushes and uh, to add uh, weekly nutrients. Uh, back over to the Gurkenanbau. Uh, I have, a to, to, there's 25 gallons of water in the system uh, and here is the top. Uh, there are eight plants that are going to be going in there and the piccolino is supposed to be a bushier variety. Uh, I'm only working with about four feet. As you can see here, uh, I have the lighting system, are the Kessel LEDs, take about 90 watts a piece and uh, I'm hoping that they're going to be able to penetrate uh, well into the canopy. Uh, I built then uh, this for the lighting system I have them on bungees so that I could raise them as the plants grow and then up here on top uh, I will be attaching the strings that will be going down to the plants so the, the vines can grow then up the strings and I'll have to prune them appropriately uh, so that I could uh, keep them a little bit more compact uh, and then uh, producing in clusters. Uh, in the back here I built a little shelf so that I could rest the um, power um, extension on there and the aeration uh, so that that is not sitting on the floor. So that's the construction and I will post again when I have the plants in. Hello, wieder zusammen. I'm back. I wanted to show you the finished product. I didn't mention before, but the holes in the top of this nutrient container I made with a two inch hole saw. And in this instance, I am using net pots. You can kind of see I left one of them open that there is a little bit of nutrient in the bottom. Uh, again, I'm using the cracky method so the roots will grow down into the solution and then uh, there will be plenty of aeration just with that uh, bubbler in there. Uh, I attached these nylon strings then to the net pot and that will hold the little cucumbers. I get tons and tons of comments about how to hold the plants into this 
vertical system and as you can see here again I don't use net pots they're just sitting in the one and a half inch YT so back to the Gurken Anbau a couple concerns and again I'm not an expert by any means I just like to try new things and experiment uh, a little bit concerned about the spacing I have about seven and a half inches seven inches between plants uh, outside in the summer when I grow the cucumbers in the garden I usually space uh, between six and eight inches um, and so again there are only four feet of grow room here and uh, I'm gonna have to see how this works out I'll definitely post an update for you I will at some point be adding some sort of a ventilation fan maybe from the top down or from the side over I have to think about that uh, but danke schön and Happy growing!